Hey guys, it's me Kelly and welcome back to my channel. I am here with another haul video for you guys today and everything I'm showing you today I got 100% for free. Um, just a little backstory, it's currently April 2020, um, the world is in the middle of a pandemic and um, Goodwill, all thrift stores are closed currently so um, us resellers are not able to source in our normal way. So um, <clears throat> we have been getting creative and I know I'm not the only one, I've seen plenty of people on social media doing this, um, but I reached out on um, the Nextdoor app and asked my neighborhood if anybody had been cleaning out their closet while they've been stuck at home and if they had any donations for me. And you guys, I have been blown away by how many responses I got. Like, I can't even keep up. I couldn't even tell you how many porch pickups pickups I have done over the last couple weeks. So, that being said, if you are a reseller and you are in need of inventory, reach out to your community. Um, put your post on social media. Put it on any app. Um, whatever is available to you in your area, like, jump on it because I I can't even tell you. I don't know what I would be doing right now were it not for these amazing donations. And um, just makes me feel really good and um, so grateful that people have given me all this stuff. Um, so I have been sorting through things and um, my car no longer lives in the garage because it's completely full of stuff that I have gotten from my neighbors. <laughs> Um, you know, anything I'm not keeping, I'm going to do a huge donation at, uh, whenever Goodwill reopens, I will be donating everything back to them that I don't keep to sell, but there's a lot of good stuff. So, um, I've just kind of been sorting everything and then making stacks of things that I want to keep to list. So I figure I'll just show you guys the things that I'm pulling out to list and, um, hopefully this entertains you for a little bit. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, and this is all just hodgepodge from several people so there's different sizes and everything in here so let's see what we got first thing I'm grabbing is a it's just bandolino which is not a super high-end brand but super cute florally um kind of hard to tell on camera but it's like fairly sheer and it's got like a elastic waist and cute little um like mini balloon sleeves and a button detail. Anyway, very cute, perfect for summer. Um, it's only gonna be a couple dollars for a sale. I mean, I wouldn't expect to get more than 10 for that, but a sale is a sale right now. And traffic into my closet, however it comes, is fabulous. So we'll take it. Okay, this is this cute little tank top. It's like red, white, and blue, perfect for 4th of July. It's got like the crochet detail on the back with the keyhole button. I don't see a side. Oh, there we go. It's Exhilaration, which is Target. Again, not super exciting, but I think the style, I should be able to get a couple bucks for it. And if there's several things like this that are in the same size, um, you know, I might do like a bundle um, to make it a little bit more worth my time for listing. But. Um, okay, this is Guess, size small, and it's just a, like, a flannel button-up casual shirt, but it's looking more orange on camera. It's actually, like, pink and gray. Cute colors, good for spring, nice layering piece. Um, this I really like. It is, let me make sure it's the right one, uh, yeah, Lucky Brand. Uh, size large and it's just a soft cotton floral shirt with like an off the shoulder um, keyhole in the front and just a cute warm weather piece okay next I'm gonna get this out of the way because it's big it is an old navy size large, but I'm obsessed with yellow lately. I don't really know why, but I don't even wear a lot of yellow, but I love selling yellow. Anyway, it's this nice big, like, peacoat, big buttons, tie waist. It's 
fairly heavy. Um, definitely cotton. Let me just make sure. Yeah, 100% cotton. Um, really cute for spring. I actually, I need to get this listed ASAP because it's going to be too hot for something like this soon, but it's a perfect spring color. Anyway, super cute. I'm going to say super cute a hundred times in this video. Sorry. Um, okay. Next up we have this. Not very much in season, but that's okay. It's Moda International, which actually I believe is um, like an offshoot of Victoria's Secret. They're part of their clothing line. And it's a cute semi-sheer knit sweater with sequin. There you go. You can see how sheer it is. And it's a size medium, if I didn't say that already. Polyester nylon and 15% wool, 9% kid mohair. So a little bit higher quality. Um, cute piece. Really good for the holidays. Um, I will list it now. Anyways, though. And this is... I'm trying to get all these big pieces out of the way. Also cute. It's more uh, for fall. It's just Style & Co. But nice button-up cardigan. And um, has the little detail in the back. Very cute for fall or whenever. <laughs> um, okay, this. Okay, this, I don't know. I need to do research to see if it's worth listing, but I know there are a lot of people out there obsessed with Harry Potter. And somebody cut the shirt. It's a Hogwarts. It was just a regular t-shirt. Somebody cut it off, cut off the sleeves, cut off the neck. Um, yeah, School of Witchcraft. So... I'll have to check out comps to see if that's worth listing, but I thought it was cute. Um, this is just a big hoodie. I feel like I was gonna keep this for myself. Yeah, I was. 2X, um, I've been at home for six weeks, so I am all about the hoodies and yoga pants right now. So that's for me, good color. All right, this is a Passport, 100% oh, something, shoot. Whoever donated this to me cut off the fabric tag. Um, maybe the size tag, yeah. I'm not sure what size it is, so I'll have to check this out. But also really cute summer piece with like jean shorts. Just a nice, cute, flowy, flowery top. Um... Okay, I've been saving these, but I'm going to show you guys. So these are some little flats, and they are teaks. Oh, it's upside down. So I've never sold this brand, um, but I looked up comps, and they seem to be in the like $80 to $100 range. So I'll have to do more research when I actually list them, but I'm hoping these are going to be a nice pretty penny. And somebody put the... Um, like sole protectors in here, but I'll just remove them and try to clean that up a little bit. Um, but they're overall in really good shape, like no scuffing or anything. So I'm hoping those will be a, a nice little boost in my closet. This is Bowden. I feel like I showed this to you guys before and it snuck in here. Anyway, just a basic like v-neck tank with like the built-in shelf bra. But it's Bowden, so again, I'll do some research to see if it's worth listing like a basic piece like that. But Bowden typically goes for a higher dollar amount, so we'll see. And these are Old Navy Rockstar jeans, which I personally wear all the time. Like my favorite work jeans. And these are a size 18, so nice to get some plus size stuff. And they're just basic white jeans. Um, white jeans are tricky. I will have to check these over really thoroughly for flaws. Um, but they look decent from right now. So hopefully I can list those. Um, again, not a ton of money, but it's like one of those staple pieces that I think people search for. So hopefully that brings some traffic to my closet. Um, these are American Eagle stretch jeans. Very distressed. 
I debated if this is like, like clearly they were meant to be distressed, but somebody like did some damage on them. So I'm going to list them. I'm hoping they're not too like destroyed. They're American Eagle Outfitter, out, American Eagle Outfitters stretch skinny jeans in a size four. So I'll list them. I'll see what happens. They are light wash, which is good for like spring and summer. Cute. Hopefully that's just not too distressed for somebody. Maybe I'll lower the price a little bit. Um, okay. More white denim. Also American Eagle super stretch. These are size six. Just cute little cut off white jeans. And like I said, I've been pulling all this stuff from my garage, so nothing's washed or steamed yet. So I'm sorry. Um, again, I don't see any flaws right now, but white denim is deceiving sometimes. So I'll check these out under my good lights. Um, hopefully I can list those though, cause that would be probably a quick sell. Okay. This I know has a flaw, but I'm really hoping I can get it out. Um, it's just American Eagle. Um, which again, not a lot of money, but it always sells quickly for me. And I feel like it drives traffic to my store. So this is just a cute little, like, it looks like a romper, but it's actually a dress with pockets, um, and like a tie waist, super lightweight, like perfect for summer, but it does have, where is it on the front somewhere? There's like a grease stain. I can't find it now. Anyway, there's a little grease stain on there, so I'm going to try to put some, um, I tried, I washed this once already with OxyClean, like spray and wash stuff, but it did not get the stain out. So I'm going to try Dawn dish soap, which I just discovered, by the way, if you ever need to get a grease stain out of your clothing, blue Dawn dish soap, like just take a little bit and like rub it in on the spot, let it sit for a little bit and then wash it like normal. Works like a charm. Who knew? I wish I had known that like the rest of my life. I just found out. So hopefully that trick works on this because I think it's a really cute piece. Um, okay, more white denim. Jeez. These are Torrid size 18. And I think that's like an older Torrid tag maybe. But um, cute white cut off denim. Again, I'll check for flaws, but those should move quickly. Torrid also sells generally pretty quickly for me. Okay, I see more white. Jeez. These are the Banana Republic Martin Fit in a 14 regular. Um, and these are like white, uh, like cotton, like dressier pants. And they're super wrinkled, so I'm not going to be able to see any flaws right now if it has any, if they have any, but I don't see any yet. Um, hopefully I can list those because that is also a great summer piece. So lots of white stuff. Okay. Okay. These I've had for a while. I found these at the bins and then I put them in my donate pile because I thought maybe it wasn't worth my time listing, but um, I think I'm going to try again. So they're hand painted like they did not come like this clearly somebody did it themselves and they are Hollister size medium just black overalls and then somebody painted that on the front pocket and a little like Kermit on the other pocket so clearly some of the paint has bled through so I think that's why I thought they weren't worth listing before but I saw something very similar on Poshmark that was sold already and so I thought maybe I'll just try. So we'll see. They're cute, whoever painted them. Okay, this I probably won't list. It's just an old navy perfect Henley tee. Typically won't sell for more than, you know, a couple bucks. Probably not worth listing. Unless there's a couple of them in here. And I can do a like a bundle of them. This is Boston Proper. And it is a like top with ruching down the middle and then I think that goes in the back you cut out the, the back strap anyway that's cute and this is 
Venezia, which is like an older Lane Bryant tag, if I'm not mistaken, but it's got like the tie back. Um, yeah, and it's a size 14, 16 plus size stuff usually does well. So we'll see. Um, this is just Croft and Barrow, Barrow, however you say it. Just like a little shrug knit, you know, perfect for like over a dress for, you know, some occasion that hopefully we all will be able to go to again soon. Um, these I think are the same if I remember. I have two of these. Yeah, it's just the tea shop. And there's this one, which is like a sheer purple with this little like Swiss dot, like a big Swiss dot material. Is that what you call that? I don't know if that would be Swiss dot. And then there's this one that is also t shop, same size, which is size medium. And then this one is like a blue stripe, long sleeve, Henleys. So I'll probably bundle these two and list them together. Oh, and the same with a lot of this other stuff that's coming. I'm going to save those. So this is an Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie in a size large. Boys, maybe. Just a Fitch. Just a cute, basic zip-up hoodie. It's in decent shape. I'll probably get some money for that. And... Okay, let's see what we have here. So this is a motherhood maternity nursing shirt. There's a few maternity things in here that I'm hoping are all the same size so that I can bundle them up. But motherhood nursing, size extra large. And it's just like a basic gray tee with like the stretch belly. Very cute. And then it has like the nursing cutouts. Um, so I'm hoping I can lot. It is like a little bit worn. Like there's definitely some pilling on there. So probably not top dollar. But there are a few of them in here. So like I said, I hope I can just bundle them and get something for them. Okay, that's not one of them. It's this one. Okay. Extra large. I think the brand's been cut out. But again, just like a basic maternity top. And I think this one too is motherhood maternity extra large and again just like a cotton quarter sleeve I guess like L sleeve top so I think I'll just pair or lot all three of these together and list them in one go because somebody that's looking for maternity clothes probably need several items and if they're an extra large hopefully they can just buy three shirts for one right um okay this is Morona which we all know is Target size large just a basic button-up cardigan in this really cute soft pink color and then it has <clears throat> this like jeweled detail but it's not missing any of them some of them are a little wonky but they're all still attached I'll clean this guy up and take pictures. That should do okay. And what's this? Oh, I think I missed. No, I didn't. Okay. This is Adriana Papel, which I normally know for like her dresses. Um, but this is just a long sleeve tee with like a little, not a drape neck. I don't know. Cinch neck. Is that what you call that? Gather neck. There we go long sleeve and it does have some wear not wear but you know pilling so I do have a sweater shaver but something like this it's probably not worth my time to sweater shave it but we'll see I'll look at comps maybe it is you know maybe there's a lot of demand for her shirts and I just don't know um I have a dress listed by her that much I know never heard of this brand okay Bozolo Bozolo anyone size large it's just like a white burnout little 
top. I'll have to look that up. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have some jammy pants. PJs, nice soft cotton. And they are DN, DKNY size, extra large. So I think I said this in my other video, but um, pajamas are doing surprisingly well for me right now. Not really surprisingly because everybody's stuck at home. So um, I've been selling a lot of pajamas and like lounge clothing, lounge wear. So I'll list these. Um, so yeah, nothing super fancy except hopefully these guys. So size nine, black flats by Teeks. And um, I mean the bottom, they look like they've been worn once maybe. So I'll get those cleaned up. So those are hopefully a high dollar item. Everything else in here is not worth more than $20. But, you know, there's a decent amount of stuff. And like I said, I got all of it for free, which I am so very thankful for. And if anybody watching this has donated to me, thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. You are literally keeping my business alive right now. And I really appreciate it. So I um, hope that that entertained you guys for a minute. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. They really helps my channel out. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.